There is a rookie Green Lantern that was brought into the core recently. Who is this man? Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where I take trade paperbacks and single issues, and I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read it dramatically back to you, all alterations to the panels, text, and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. Simon Baz was introduced during the Rise of the Third Army as a new Green Lantern in the mix, but he was quickly forgotten and shuffled off for the classics. With DC Rebirth on the horizon, he is starring in two different books. So who is Simon Baz? His story begins on September 11th, 2001. His family watched in horror as the Twin Towers of New York fell to a terrorist attack. The next day, the Middle Eastern hatred started, and being a boy from a Lebanese family in Detroit, Simon felt it. He was constantly beat on by bullies and he found himself defending himself at all times. Things like the police searching him were normal and he had come to accept his life. If someone was going to assume that he was a terrorist, then he'd make his life in crime. He started off stealing cars and then outrunning the police and this is where the real problems began. Because one day he stole a van and in the back of the van Simon could hear a beeping noise. He quickly realized that he had just stolen a van with a bomb in it and he had no excuse as to why he had it when the police were already chasing him. Realizing what this probably meant for him, he called his sister to let her know, whatever comes on the news, it's not what it looks like. He did steal the van, but he had no idea what was inside of it. Then the police rammed the van and he found himself barreling through a locked fence. He jumped out of the van with the police right on his tail and the van hit a wall exploding. It didn't take long for the police to arrest him, and this misunderstanding to get even worse. Two federal agents walked into the interrogation room to get answers. Simon tried to explain that this was all a misunderstanding. He stole the car, yes, but he had no idea about the bomb. The agents explained that the car was actually reported stolen the day before Simon actually stole it. And after going back and forth with the agents just assuming that he was their man, Simon tells them, I'm a car thief, not a terrorist. Things didn't go any better for Simon as he was brought into a torture room with a bag on his head. He wasn't on American soil any longer and they intended to find out what the intentions of his terrorist organization were, even though he wasn't actually a part of one. He tried to fight back, hitting the guards and telling them to listen. And that's when things got interesting, probably much worse for him. A Green Lantern ring came bursting through the wall and it went to Simon. Simon Baz of Earth, you have the error ability to overcome great fear. As it surged through Simon, he rocketed off into the sky as the newest Green Lantern, and he crash landed a ways away from the prison that he was in. That's when a message came pouring out all messed up and jumbled. It was Hal Jordan and Sinestro trying to get the same message out of the ring at the same time, and Simon had no idea what they were trying to say. The messages were interwoven and wrapped together until he heard them both say at the same time, Stop the Guardians! He walked out to the highway and his tattoo, which spelled out courage, glowed with the Green Lantern's light and his uniform formed around him before he took off into the sky again. He went back to his sister to try and explain what was going on, but it didn't go anywhere, and she told him to meet her that evening on the rooftop. So he went to the roof, and that's when his troubles got even worse. Because before, he was just in trouble, but now that he had a Green Lantern ring, he had Justice League trouble. Simon looks up shocked. You're the Justice League, Superman sternly tells him. Yes, and you're a wanted criminal. You really don't expect me to fight you, do you? I mean, you're Superman. Even if I knew how to use this ring, you'd probably kick my ass by yourself. Maybe I could take on Batman. Batman smirks. He's a Green Lantern, all right. Cyborg jumps in. He doesn't act like a terrorist. So they agree that if Simon just gives the ring up, they can resolve this. So he reaches down to the ring, and giant constructs of Sinestro and Hal jump out. Do not touch my ring! It knocks the League back, and Simon looks at them. I didn't mean to do that. I, I really didn't. Flash starts running towards Simon, and he looks at the ring. Fly or something! The ring makes him a car, and he begins to race down the streets with the Flash chasing him, telling him to pull over. And just as Superman is coming in to stop him, he dodges both Flash and Superman, and then causes an explosion of willpower, vanishing into the night. This is Simon Baz's origin story, but it's also wrapped up into the Rise of the Third Army storyline, a video that we've already created. The ring is actually Hal Jordan's that Sinestro took from him, and they are trapped within Black Hand's ring at this time. Baz shows up and helps Simon fight against the Third Army and free Hal Jordan and Sinestro. And eventually, everyone is saved and Simon gets to keep his ring. Then DC forgot about him, until DC Rebirth, where he'll be starring in his own Green Lantern book. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at ComicStorian, or you can follow me on Instagram at ComicStorian. And you can also check out our gaming channel, Eligible Monster, where we bring you video game comic books like Assassin's Creed, Mass Effect, and Silent Hill. I'll see you guys later right here or over there right now.